Everyone, David Bommel coming to you from Cisco Live with a very, very special guest. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much. I am delighted to be here. Paul, tell us a bit about yourself because the audience might not, might not know who you are. Sure, sure, sure. I'm the Vice President of Learning and Certifications and it is such an honor to lead this organization. Cisco has such a rich history within our certified community and they're delightful and they're active learners and the team is fabulous. Yeah, I mean, Cisco changed my life. I say it all the time and it's, it's, it's the truth. A CCNA kickstarted for me and like CCIE opened a lot of doors for me. But I believe Cisco U, there's a whole bunch of stuff been happening, a lot of announcements. So perhaps you can talk us through some of the big announcements and the exciting changes that have, have been happening. A absolutely, and I, and I just want to double down on what you said for a moment because as we're creating these certifications and we're evolving our, our learning process, the thing that we really are anchored to is yep. how we change people's lives yep. and how we help them build careers and then the innovation that yep. they bring back yep. and how we're then able to evolve the workforce to be able to develop and deliver all of the wonderful things that the network enables. Yep. And, and that's really a world impact, a global impact. So it's the individual as well as the impact on, the, on humanity, which we just love. I can tell you this, I have been stopped many, many times here and a lot of people have said CCNA changed their lives. So it, it, it's amazing, you know, it's happening every day yes. at the moment. And I mean, yes. you probably get many, many messages I, of the same thing. I do, and, and, and keep them coming because they are just so fulfilling. So, so do you want to tell us a bit about the announcements I, and I changes? I do, I do. So what we've done is with Cisco U is we really worked with our community. Yeah. People like yourself, right? Who have said, hey, I've got some skills. I want to evolve those skills. But in today's learning world, it's such a fragmented market. It is, yeah. You've got community on one side. You've got cloud information on another side. You've got automation on another side. So we've really just simplified that. We've pulled it all together in an experience that is built on three principles. Yep. Guidance, community, and depth. And that's what we're delivering within Cisco U. And it's live now, right? It is, this is our release. So we had um, EA for the last year, early access, and we gave that out. We listened to the feedback, and this is our first release, which is phenomenal. And we're gonna continue to add to it, to add content to it, to add features to it in a you know modern SaaS model. So you're not gonna hear about, hey, you know, big Super Bowl ad, here's a new release. We're just gonna to continue to innovate and iterate. What's something in Cisco you like the feedback you've had or personal experience, what have you found really exciting or been told that's really exciting? Yeah, so a couple things. Um, we we met with a group of CCIEs yesterday. Oh yeah? And that's a council, right? That well, it was actually at the NetVets. Oh wow, okay. Which was fantastic. And one of them actually just said, you know, Cisco U is really helpful. For and I'm a you know the expert yep. right the yep. elite community of CCIEs, and they're finding this extremely helpful in terms of newer skills, evolving skills, cross architectural skills yep. that are needed as Cisco evolves and as the network evolves. There's been a big change in the industry over the years. I mean, I'm an old guy. We say I, I originally was traditional networking, but you've old got you new... 35, 36. <laughs> you're, you're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> Clouds. There's a there's some new cloud search, is that right? Yes, so in addition to Cisco U, uh, we have evolved our certifications and we now have added three cloud uh, certifications to our portfolio. Yep. Cloud connectivity, yep. cloud security, and cloud infrastructure. And what we're finding, again, feedback from our community is it's still a network. But because you're now connecting and inserting and there's so much more attack surface areas, you need to understand the nomenclature yep. and the, the nuances. And there's no one better to do that than Cisco. Yep. A lot's been happening. One of the things, it's not that recent, but it, it's fairly recent is the, is, the, is the certs before CCNA, right? Because we originally, like in the last few years, it's been like CCNA was your first certification that you would get, and now you've got CCST. CCST is an entry level. Yep. And so we realize that people coming into the workforce may need something a little lighter. So again, as we are, you know, think of the building blocks, yep. right? And you went through all of those yep. building blocks. Yep. We want to make that barrier to entry easier. And networking is so core to, again, the world, and only getting even more important, 
this way, you know, younger, newer, anyone can take a CCST and start their career. Yeah, we were talking offline. Vincent's behind the camera there. He is he's, he's not from a networking background, but it'll be great. It's a great way for him to start if he's like brand new to the industry. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're going to interview you next year to see if we were <laughs> able to achieve it. Tell me about the new published roadmaps because that's also changed a lot of things. Yeah. So over the last year, we've really been listening to the community. And one of the areas that they brought to us as an er a pain point, an area of challenge, was there's so much going on in your day job. Exactly, yeah. You know, preparing and studying for exams either to earn a new level or to recertify a new level can be challenging. Yeah. And so to provide that predictability, we've published all of our exam blueprints. And this way it will help people prepare, help people plan, know what's changing and upcoming. And so again, just to provide that predictability for our community. And I love that it's not like a big change every three years. It's like an incremental change, right? And, and I love that you're helping provide clarity and guidance to the community as well. So talking about the roadmap, one of the certifications a lot of people were worried about, especially as beginners, because they're not used to the system. Right. CCNA, is that changing? It is, we've released the uh, announcement and it is not changing. So what's in the blueprint today, people can go ahead and prepare for and feel confident with the studying that they will be able to achieve it. I love that. I mean, it, it was announced, so, but it's nice to get it from you. Um, on the website, it shows you clearly if a cert's been changed, Correct. Um, gives you the information. So I'll link Correct. that below for everyone who hasn't seen that. Some feedback from myself. What I really love is you've been listening to the community, you've been listening to the CCIEs, but just to the general community, taking all that feedback in and then changing things. So thanks so much for doing that. My pleasure. We are absolutely a community first organization and we'll continue to be that.